This is a typical question, right? Now they will either say, find the equation of a tangent, or they'll say, find the tangent. By which they mean, find its equation, rather than just saying, look, I drew it, there it is, okay? So when they say find the tangent, this is what they mean, and they'll say, find the equation of the tangent to such and such a curve, function, at a particular point, okay? Now, occasionally, if they're, you know, they're being a bit grumpy to you, rather than saying at, and they'll name a point, they'll say when, and then they'll supply you an x value, right? Now, there's not really a material difference between these two questions. It just adds one more step, which is that you'd have to take this, and then just chuck it in there, and out comes a y value. Okay, so really they're the same question, one line difference, okay? How do you do this? I've got a point, minus one, zero, right there, on the curve, okay? Minus one, zero, okay? Now, I have a point that goes through all I need in terms of extra information is the gradient at that point. And that's what the whole derivative is about. Right? So you're going to have to take this, and because it's in terms of y's rather than f's and so on, I would say dy on dx. And at this stage, you're just going to quickly march through first principles and get a derivative out. Now, we've actually seen, and I wonder if you can think of y. We looked at, um, going out of space. We looked at y equals x squared. Right? And we notice through first principles that dy on dx is 2x. Now what's interesting is once you march through first principles with this, if you use this as your starting point, you find, surprise, surprise, the same derivative. Now why would that be the case? Don't just look at it and think, oh, okay, they're the same. What does that mean? Yeah, Mark? This is the same problem. Very good. The difference between this graph and this graph is a vertical shift, right? But if, for example, you compare any point on here, like say, I don't know, say x equals zero, right? x equals zero. Can you see from this graph to the other, because all we've done is move it up and down, how is the gradient changing? Answer, it's not. It's still the same. The gradient for this and for this and for anything that's just off by a constant of some description, it's just moving it up and down. So it's great, it's still going to behave exactly the same way. Okay? So once you have that, all you need to do is take the actual x value that they've supplied you. So I would say when x equals minus 1. Please don't skimp on that line, by the way. I know a lot of you are like, that's what I have to do. So I'm just going to say um, dy on dx equals negative 2. You go straight from this line to this line. Bad idea. Okay. The reason why is because just sort of equations start coming out of nowhere. Where are they coming from? What's the logic that binds them all together, right? You're going to need some serious help when you've got many, many different points and you've got this dy on dx and this dy on dx and you have like four different ones flying around. Which one's which and what do they mean? So this, I view as really important to write down, even though it's not part of the, the working, it's part of my logic. Got a point, got a gradient, think back to linear functions, what am I going to put into? Gradient. Point, point, point gradient. gradient form, right? Y minus Y1, and outside of X minus X1. Yep. And from there, it's, it's just a substitution. Yeah. Let's just quickly do it together. Y minus Zero. M is there. X, X minus, minus negative one. 1. Y equals minus 2X plus. plus no, minus. Minus, minus, minus. minus, minus, minus. minus. Oh, God. minus 2. Is that okay? Yeah. Now you just quickly check yourself out, this was not the question, but it's easy to verify, right? Minus 2x, so it's decreasing as you'd expect, and you're hitting the axis at negative 2, which is down there, right? I'm pretty close, you get the idea. Okay, it's really one of the great things about this, it's very easy to verify if you've got something on the right track or not, okay? So, if you haven't written that down, or you're checking against another question, you're like, how did I lay it out? Okay, your important bits are finding the gradient, Substituting it in and saying that you're doing that, it's really important. This is as simple as it gets. There will be lots more pieces of information that we'll add on to this as we attempt more complicated questions. So you better say what you're doing before an equation just, you know, don't, you know, a wild equation appeared. Don't do that. <laughs> say where they're coming from. And then out comes the uh, equation of your tangent.